You've been going through some really a lot of challenges and right now is a time for you to make a shift as you are ending October and going right into November. There is prosperity coming in for you. So you're moving out of that challenging energy, the feeling stuck and unable to go through. A lot of you, this has to do with a person. So let's take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Virgo because something is shifting in your energy, all right, for the entire sign. No matter where you're at in your journeys, there is a change and it is going to lead to prosperity more uh, attention, more love, more uh, prosperity is everything on the material plane. So that can be a job, that can be anything around you. But let's take a look with our tarot cards and of course the guided messages that are here as well. So we have the five of pentacles and this is that lack, feeling like you didn't have enough, feeling Virgo like Things were not working in your favor is what I'm hearing. And it looks like you were dealing with a particular person that may have made you feel stuck and unable to move into this new direction. And I feel this individual is a family member that, or somebody you consider very close. So you actually trusted them. You trusted their advice. You trusted their opinion. You trusted them to be a mentor on some level. Okay, whoever this individual was, but they it's just like it's always leading you back to feeling unsatisfied and less than. I'm hearing the words less than. Now, we have the Six of Swords here, okay? And you are definitely moving in, and this is the card that came out for you originally when I got the guided message. The Ten of Pentacles, a big payout, prosperity, new foundation. You're moving to something that is going to make you feel secure, and that's what you're all about. The organization you do, the helping people, you're a real humanitarian when you want to be, Virgo. And it just hasn't been panning out right up to this point so it's like you need to take this leap of faith an actual leap of faith let's pull a few more cards as we go along all right and this leap of faith is not just like jumping out and saying i'm gonna jump off a cliff no you've already done the research you've already done the work you've already seen who these individuals are whether it's one or a multitude whether it's a business, a career, something has really been keeping you stuck. A lot of you, it, well, we have, the, we have the king of swords. So it could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual. But two cards came out with this. We have the three of pentacles. Working in a team environment. Working with people around you that actually are truthful and authentic. And that is what's coming over the next four to five weeks. For some of you, it's going to continue and, and push out a little bit more toward December. But the majority of you reading this, hearing this right now, it is, it is good. It is all the way in November. Look, we have the five of pentacles. We have the 10 of cups, which is a duplicate of what is on the board already. You see, this is very, very big message for you guys. Virgo, let's take a look at the details, okay? Whoever this person is that's been around you. They wanted to keep you that way. They wanted to keep you stuck or not to move forward. Out of their own greediness, out of their own, uh, I'm hearing, um, ego out of their own ego they wanted to move forward but you stay where you were and some of these people wanted to just make sure that you don't go they even if they weren't doing anything they wanted to make sure you weren't moving forward we have the chariot getting in your vehicle driving to wherever you need to go and i feel some of you are actually going to start <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to start having some energy work done. You're going to work on your physical fitness, your physical body, because you aren't eating right. But what it's been doing is it's been creating this um, disconnect in your mind. But you see, over the next several weeks, things are changing for you. And it's the perfect time as we are going into this new ascended level. All right. And that's what some of you are getting ready to do. Some of you are going to do it later, 
but the majority of the group are going to do it now. We have the Knight of Cups. So this is dreams that you've been wanting actually getting ready to come through. Now I feel you were dealing with somebody who was emotionally challenging, okay? Not necessarily manipulative, but they threw you out of balance. And this is the person that I'm saying, in the upside down, this person is filled with promises they cannot keep. They are filled with, um, you know, putting these ideas in your head. We should do this. We should do that. And then when you turn around, they're doing it with someone else. Whoever this individual was, no matter what their zodiac sign is, don't worry about them. Their karma is coming because you're going to outshine them in whatever direction you are going and some of you this may have to uh have had to do with love all right i do feel that there the karma is on the way for you now karma in a good way a lot of people call it dharma karma is both whatever you put out you get back okay so if you put good energy good things you're humanitarian you help people it will come back and if you put negative it will come back to you the same but if we're helping the wrong people, that will also come back. So you may have been a giver, but giving to the wrong person, whoever this individual was. Um, this environment, when it comes to your career, I feel for some of you, uh, now some of you have already ascended. Don't worry, you're going to ascend again. Okay, you're going to grow further. Your organization, your promotions, your business ventures, and I'm hearing the word business ventures, are going to capitalize. They're going to grow. They're going to, um, I'm hearing the word resilient. Your guides are saying you're going to become resilient in whatever it is that you're doing. So we have the sun card, and some of you may have given birth to somebody recently, and going through that feeling of lack, of loneliness, when you have a child and you're home, whether you're male, female, it doesn't matter. When you have a child and you have taken yourself out of the life that you created, it can be very lonely. Oftentimes it can be lonely. Now you could be just simply dealing with a Leo, but one thing's for sure, this is, this is, this is beautiful. This is absolutely incredible, getting new ideas, expansion, and growth. Why? Because you are walking away from whoever it was that was holding you back. Okay, it doesn't matter what you're doing. This can be a project you're working on. It can be creating financial wealth by investments. Whatever you've been working on, you had to take a step back. And you had to rest your mind and get rid of all of this ick. This person just really kind of kept you stuck. So let's see who you're dealing with a little more in detail. I don't like the energy of whoever you were dealing with, Virgo. Okay. They, they are dishonest, but they do it in a way that most people cannot detect. Okay. Unless you're an empath and you can feel that energy coming from them and you're an authentic in yourself, you will a person would allow them to say and do whatever they want and still interact and enable them. They, they have great uh, commanding, your guides are saying commanding authority when it comes to pulling the wool over other people's eyes. Okay, that's who you were dealing with. So if this is a boss, there you go. That's what it is. Whatever direction it was, if this is somebody trying to help you get a project, especially if it had to do with environmental, it had to do with land, with wheat, with crops and farmers and vegetables and I see rivers and streams. Okay, not the ocean. I see rivers and streams. So we have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is a person who can be very, uh, very confident. They come in very confident. They come in full of energy and people are captivated, captivated by this individual. They have this quality about them that will make anybody listen to them because the way they speak, it just flows naturally. They know how to use words to get people to come in. Like this would be a tremendously good advertiser. This would be somebody who is good as a leader to convince people to do certain things. And if they're in the upright, 
in the tarot upright. If they are authentic to themselves, they're going to be actually really good. But whoever you were dealing with, um, I feel that they played a lot of games, okay? And again, it, whatever they did, it just made you feel like you didn't fit in, made you feel like the work you did wasn't good enough, that what you were contributing wasn't of value. But it really was. They stole your thunder. This person took your thunder away from you. So now you're going past them. You see it and you are going to move toward prosperity. There we have the Princess of Pentacles. One more. Princess of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is an apology for some of you. But I feel for most of you, this is a new direction, a new opportunity. Right? You're moving toward prosperity. Pentacles represent that prosperity. But this is something that is touched you in a way that... Uh, you guys, uh, uh, whoever is reading this... Uh, listening to this, you need to make sure that you do an energy clearing. You can do it at home. You can do it, um, go to uh, any holistic healer like myself. And most of us have things available. Th this is like uh, they attach to your solar plexus. They attach to your emotional body. And, and it's just not good. It's just not good. They saw you, like I said, here's the Four of Pentacles. They saw that they are superior to you. They have the power and you don't. And that's what I mean. This individual, this group, they took away what was actually rightfully yours. So you are actually going to walk away from them. You're going to rebalance yourself and you're going to use your intuition to do this. Okay, this could be a psychic holistic healer, like I just said, with getting an energy clearing because it's still stuck inside of you. And now as we move into the moon phase and um, you should be able to hopefully you see this before the 29th of October. But you want to try and get that clearing done as soon as possible. Look for guided meditation videos, etc. Wow, you're starting something incredible. And again, I feel this is a family member. You may be dealing with multiple people where it was a group that did it. Okay, a group in your in your I'm seeing a trailer park for some of you, a mobile home park, uh, like a, a senior center. Um, a facility where a lot of people live. It doesn't really look like apartments, although it certainly can be. It's whatever's going on in your life. But it is a group of people where I feel this Queen of Wands was going around and talking from one to another and taking away your thunder, taking away what was rightfully yours because it was your idea, it was your invention, it was your action, it was you, you that was creating this positive flow. So whoever or whatever you've been dealing with is getting ready to dissipate. And that is amazing. I'm going to pull a couple more cards here when it comes to uh, this person. You are ending the cycle. Literally ending the cycle. And look what comes out. See, I was guided to pull more cards. And the two came out on their own. You are ending and breaking that old pattern and you are starting something, abundance, love. Anything you want is on the way if you believe in it. You see, if you're in the low vibration, if you're hanging around these people, it won't happen. It could, but it's going to be very slow and it may be taken away from you again if this is your scenario. And I feel for a lot of you, you've been dealing with situations like this, Virgo. So let's take a look at your overall message uh, to help you through the month of November. I hope you guys are doing well. I've been gone for a long time. I needed to take my own break and now I'm back and we'll continue these as we move forward throughout the end of the year and of course going into next year. Um, the card that came out for you is friendship. I understand that I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Okay, sometimes those friends are in your life for uh, lessons, to learn a lesson, to prepare you for what's coming in. Because if you didn't learn the lesson and all this prosperity came in, you would wind up feeling 
trapped and stuck and feeling a lack. But this situation was actually created by you with the divine energies so that you have an opportunity to clear it out. And that's what you're being guided to do. And November is that month. So let's take a look at your angel message. Now, Captain Lovebug ate this card, but it's still valid. Archangel Michael, I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. This completely ties in with the reading. And that's what's coming in in the month of November for Virgo. You are letting go of something that was holding you back, something or someone, and you are going right into prosperity. That's your home, that's your house, that's where you live. You're relocating, you're changing, you are moving into a better place. Thank you for watching. Much love.